hello everyone in today's video we are going to analyze a continuous beam and we will show the shear force and bending moment diagram in this continuous beam we have a 45 kilo newton udl and two concentrated load one of 80 kilo newton and one of 25 kilo newton at the distance of given distance we will do this these analysis using the stat pro software here first this is the stat pro interface here you have to select the new project just click on new project select the space given the file name continuous beam here you can select the unit which you need here in meter kilo newton as click on next here you can see the add beam just select it finish this you can see the stat pro interface here you can just here you can just create this if you see this is an xyz plane here you can change the grid if you need here you can see as per our question we have the length of 6 plus 2 8 plus 8 and 3 11 and 12 meter here we can see the length is 12 meter but here in the strap you can see it has only 10 and 10 sections if that means this is the 10 meter distance so we need to increase the distance here just go to add, go and edit and increase the increase this in and click ok here you can see now we have the 12 section now first this is the first point first origin first is 6 meter here 6 other one is 2 meter you can see this is 2 other one is 3 and here you can see the whole distance just close this now here you can see this spam here you can see this is the beam this is the two dimension direction which I we have seen now now click on general to assign the properties of the here you can assign all the things support all these here in software we provide the load support specification property first we will assign the property which kind of material we are going to use we just go on define here you can see we have different properties like circle rectangular trapezoidal journal tapered taper tube it's up. just click on the just click on the rectangle we are going to provide the rectangular so the size of beam the width is 0.45 meter and the width of the is 0.23 meter just add it and close it here just go and assign to the view just click on this here you can see the this has been assigned to the view if you render in the 3d view you can see the section if you want to see the whole beam here you can see now we are going to assign the support here in this we can see we have one fixed and two roller supports here you can see the fixed support has been assigned now select the other one and select the other node and
here you can see we have assigned the fixed support we have assigned those sub, uh, pinned support also now and now we are going to assign the loads and definitions here in the load and definition here you can see define the loads if you need just click on load case detail and just click on add first we are going to add the dead load the live load you can just provide the live load if you need the just click on add here you can see that the live load has been added here just go and live load click on add here you can see first we will here load first go on the member load first we can see the uniform udl is of minus 45 kilo newton you can find minus 45 and we have and we have the two one is 80 and one is 25 and minus 80 kilo newton and other one is minus 25 kilo newton now just go and edit just provide the distance here you will the distance on the loads here you can see these are those loads now we will assign those loads just click on this beam Sel assign to the selected beam and assign this and just go and assign this here you can see the load has been assigned to here you can see the now select this beam and just go on this concentrated load and assign to view now here you can see there the load has been seen. select this and select this and assign to the selected view here you can see that the load has been assigned here if you just do this here you can see this is the udl this is the point load and this is the, the last concentrated load now if you want to now here we can see the UDL in the point load and this concentrated load over here now if you just go on the label to see the load since loads and result and other click on the load value just click on apply and okay. here you can see the a load value assigned this is 45 kilo newton this is 80 kilo newton and if you want to see the distance just click on this and here from here you can just find out the distance from node to node here you can see this is 6 meter this is 5 and if we want to see this and this is 1 meter distance if as of the diagram you can see here from here this is 6 meter 45 cent kilonewton concentrated load here you can see the 80 kilonewton at the distance of 2 meter if you find this distance this will be the 2 meter if you if you just want to measure the distance here you can see this is the cut section this is the dimension measurement and dimension to view just go from here from here to here if you want to measure the distance you can just measure this distance also from here
you want to save the picture you can just click on this picture and click ok you can see and now we have model assign the assign the value in the concept now we are going to analysis the software and just click on analysis print just click on all if you need load static and static if you need you can just click on add here you can see we have add the command perform just go on analyze click on run it will ask you to do the save the project just save the project now here we can see now if we want to analysis just click on the analyze and print it will ask you to add this just click on add here you can see here you can see all those things it will ask you to perform the analysis just close it and click on analyze here you can see if you have no error it will show here error any warning here you can see i have one warning zero error and warning is nothing you can just do the output file from here you can see what warning is this it is showing the consecutive analysis command only first use that's it nothing we have just an, uh, performed two time analysis that's why it's asking here you can see number of joints are four number of members are three number of supports are three total primary load here you can see all those things which we have provided the dimensions the values all those things now if we want to design here you can see we have no error now if you want to design here you can see and after the analysis part is over if you want to see the bending movement just click on this post processing just click ok if you need to see just click on this here you can see the bending movement this is the bending movement diagram if you want to in y direction here you can see if you want to see if you want to see that torsion there is no torsion provided if we want to see the shear force here you can see the shear force diagram of this continuous beam if we want to shear force in z direction there is no shear force in the z direction because we are doing this in x plane here you can see this is the shear force value and this is the bending moment value of the diagram we want to save this just click on the take picture if you want to see the, these displacement and the, if you want to see the values of just click on result and click on this view value here you can see the beam result here if you need the shear force at ending maximum midpoint here you can select as a note the shear force must be right? here you can see the shear force if you want to see something just go on this new value here it is going at the end maximum midpoint if you want to see the bending here you can see the uh, bending moment if you want to see the shear force you can just here you can see the shear force here is 0 and maximum at 142.649 kN to see the report just want to see the report here you can see the report also and you have, you have the B section material support which we want we can just see those reports also and just provide the input output here we need this pictures and just click we have two pictures over here you can just select those picture and assign to them here here in the output we what we need here just here we are going to see the three internal here we need the maximum bending moment 
search for this maximum bending moment maximum shear force and beam displacement summary here you can see this is the beam beam and display summary okay beam and force summary displacement summary just select this apart from this you need to select the beam maximum moments beam here just go up here you can find the beam maximum moment and beam maximum shear force here you can find the beam maximum moment and beam maximum shear force just select all those here this is the job info what we have provided this is the picture just click on ok here you will if you want to save this we can just save this also just click on print and save this as adobe pdf the where you want to save you can just save this file here you can see what is this what we have provided if you just open the adobe file you can find all those things here you can see on which date it has been corrected what the, is this what uh, number of node provided highest beam and here you see, can see the diagram what kind of load has been provided at what distance apart from this you can find the shear force and bending moment and in the beam summary you can find where is the maximum what kind of load it has been provided here you can see the maximum load where is the bending moment is maximum at which point this is the maximum shear force provided over here this is that's it from today thank you for watching and please kindly subscribe the channel if you find the information useful thanks for watching